Yo, what's up boys, it's Cutie Claps here, and I'm gonna be telling you guys my settings and binds, boys. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for 26 today, I really do appreciate it, like, this is, this is actually so crazy, guys. I've only been doing YouTube for a month, and I've been blessed with this opportunity and chance to just produce content, man. Videos every two days, if you guys haven't noticed, so like, subscribe, put noties on, like the video, you know, all that, boys. Anyways, I'm gonna- Alright guys, let's begin. Alright guys, so basically this is my video page of everything I use. I used to use the Toronto 10, but people were saying that it looks ugly in my videos. I actually liked it because I make the game dark, but I have now switched to Trident Note 5. And I've grown to like it. It looks a little clearer, to be honest. But yeah, this is what I put. 100% brightness, 1.26x on user interface contrast. Of course, my quality's view distance epic. Everything else is off or low. My advanced graphics, V-Sync off, motion blur off. Show FPS on, cause you know, I like to see my, what my frames are at. Direct X 11, allow multi-threaded rendering. Use GPU crash debugging, off. All right, these are my game settings. Language English, obviously. Toggle sprint off, sprint by default on. Sprint cancel reloading off, auto open doors. I use that. I don't know if you guys like using it, but I feel like it's a really good thing to have on, boys. Okay, combat holds off, off, on, off, on. I do use confirm edit on release. I feel like it's the most alpha thing in the game right now. If you're not using this, I don't know what you're doing, man. I feel like it's the best thing to have on right now. But yeah, anyway, it's just, I'm gonna go through this quickly with you guys. You guys can see I record replays, of course. Peripheral lighting on, the video highlights on. Yeah. My game UI, I use 80% HUD scale. I actually used to use 100%, and then someone told me to take it off that it's too big, so I put 80% now. And I have basically everything on except for creative runtime performance stats, because I don't see a point of having that on. Yeah. Anyways, guys, this is my mouse and keyboard sensitivity. I use 8.3, 8.3, 800 TPI. My mouse is actually a G Pro, G Pro wireless, and I use slow sensitivity, to be honest. Well, I don't know if this is slow to you guys, but this is kind of a decent sense for me. I'm not really a high sense player nor a low sense player. And yeah, guys, my targeting sensitivity is 30.3%, my scope 30.8%. 100% on multiplier for aircrafts, invert off, ignore game pass input off, look input method as a mouse off. Anyways, here are my controller options. I don't really use controller, but if you guys want to see, this is this is my controller settings. Even though I don't really play controller anymore. I tried it out for like two weeks and then I stopped using it because it got nerfed again. <laughs> Very happy about that. But audio... Music, 0%. I cannot deal with the music. The music in this game is actually way too loud. Sound effects, 100%. Dialogue, 100%. Voice chat, 91%. I usually turn it down when, like, there's kids in my game that are, like, just loud. Cinematics, 20%. Sound quality, high. 3D headphones off. Background audio off. Visualized sound effects off. I feel like this messes... I used to play with this. It messed me up a lot. I just, I just couldn't. I took it off. Voice chat on. Push to talk always voice chat input device my yeti obviously because i have a yeti stereo microphone by the way at 30k i will be showing you guys my whole setup really excited for that so if you haven't sub you know go ahead and hit that sub but uh here are my keyboard controls so i basically have double movement binds i don't know if you guys are familiar with this but it makes you move like a controller player a and g and then d and z to move right i like it like that i don't know those are my binds and yeah space bar to jump i don't scroll wheel up to jump obviously i have auto run at five i use auto run a lot to be honest but let's just yeah auto run at five crouch left control fire my left mouse button obviously target right aim in reload is r use is scroll wheel up to pick up stuff is scroll wheel up harvesting is my middle mouse button my weapon slots this is kind of weird for people i have four and three instead of three and four but whatever one cb four three 
crouching is cleft control. My mouse, my wall bind is my first mouse button, the one in the front, and then my floor is the one in the back. Uh, my stairs is Q, roof is left shift, trap is E, place building is left mouse button, obviously. To repair, I press H. I don't use rotate building, even though I should. Matter of fact, I'm going to add 6 because I used to have it as 6. Change building material. It's right mouse button. Building is F and scroll down to reset. Left control. Left mouse button select. Reset building. Right mouse. Mouse go down. To ping, I use tab. To place enemy markers, it's obviously double tab. Uh, push or talk is N for me. My chat is enter to like enter. My emote, I use 6 as well, even though it's my rotating bind. Um, My music, this is my misc, I mean. This is for everything else. Vehicles, loot shark, boost, left shift, unhook, E. E's a lot for me. It's my trap bind. So it's a lot for me, I don't know. But it's also to get off stuff. And yeah, this is basically it, boys. Let me show you guys all this. Anyways, boys, I really do appreciate the 26k on YouTube. Thank you for everything. I hope you guys enjoyed my settings video. These are literally word for word my settings I just showed you guys. If I encourage people to use them, I actually maybe you'll get it better than me with them. I don't know, man. Everyone has their own settings. Anyways, peace out, QTs. Leave a like, subscribe. Love y'all. Peace out.